scriptures. So write these down for yourself or anyone else that might need them. Okay? Because you're going to get scriptures that you can share with people. So I'm going to go ahead and do the introduction. Have you ever had someone call you with a problem and you wanted to know exactly what scripture you should use to fit their particular situation? What word from the Lord should you use to encourage them or to help them? Because there is a word from the Lord that is applicable to every situation that we might go through. Let's take a visit to the Holy Hotline to listen in and get some key scriptures that we can use the next time someone comes to us with one of these prevailing problems that all of us have faced at one time or another. Sister Tammy Prince is the operator or intercessor. Sister Robin Granderson, Minister Martin V. Prince, and Brother Sam Harris are the callers having various problems and needs. Ring, ring. Holy Hotline, how may I help you to have a better day through the Word of God? I'm trying to get to sleep, but I am so worried about my family. There is a bad storm headed their way in Louisiana. I've been calling, but no one is responding or answering to my phone. The word, the word of the Lord for you is 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. So give those fears and those worries to Jesus. Ask him to cover and protect your family. Then trust him. Right. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm going to cast this up on Jesus. No sense in me worrying. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Ring, ring. You've reached the holy hotline. How may I help you have a great day? Oh, hello. This is Sister Robin. Well, I have lived in fear of catching COVID or something deadly for the entire year of 2023. And that fear is trying to follow me into 2024. But I cannot go on like this another year. I am so glad you called. Yes, God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love and power and of a sound mind. I suggest you write down and read Isaiah 41, 10 through 13. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with thy right hand of the righteousness. Behold, all, behold, all they that have incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they shall be as nothing and they shall and they that strive with thee shall perish thou shalt seek them and thou shalt not find shall not find them even the that confounded with thee they that war against thee shall not shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught for i the lord thy God will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not I will help thee Amen. hallelujah thanks for reminding me that God is with me and he will help me let me give you another word from the Lord when it comes to sickness because our God is Jehovah Rapha he is a healer. I suggest you read Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ring, ring. Holy hotline. Oh, my goodness. I just wanted to know if I can get some help from y'all without having to give my name and address because I don't want to be bombarded, especially with phone calls. I don't want a bunch of mail coming to my house. Do you guys want me to give you a donation? I just need a word from the Lord. No worries. How can I help you, sir? Well, well, lately some people have been getting on my last nerve. <laughs> I've been tempted to revert back to some bad language that I haven't used in a while. I'll pray and try to keep myself under control, but I feel bad because of the fact that I'm having this temptation. Well, believe me, as long as we are in these bodies, there is going to be temptation. But the word of God for you today is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There hath no temptation such, taken such as common to man, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able, but you will be with the temptation also will make an escape that ye may be able to bear it. So don't let the enemy send you on a guilt trip like you are the only one dealing with these situations. Wow. Hmm. Wow, thank you so much because that's what was happening to me. I really appreciate your help. Goodbye. God bless you. Amen. Ring, ring. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Sister Tammy. How can I help you today? Hello, my sister. I'm Brother Sam. Well, I'm really dealing with two different problems. First of all, the pressing keeps on trying to come on me and also a spirit of loneliness. Could you possibly help me? I need help with both of these. Oh, yes. All we need is the word of God. In the word is concerning your first problem of depression. Write this down and read it more than once. Psalms 34, 18 through 20. The Lord is nigh unto them that are brokenhearted and saveth such with the, to be a con, with a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them from all of them. He keepeth all of the bones. Not one of them is broken. Remember, Jesus is close to the brokenness. Yes, yes. That is so comforting to know he is close to me. I did not have to be depressed in my spirit. Exactly, Brother Sam. Deuteronomy 31 and 8 says, And the Lord is in, is in it that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. In other words, God is with you. He goes before you. He won't stop fighting for you. So don't be afraid or discouraged. Hey, man, thank you so much for reminding me that my God would never leave me nor forsake me. Even if my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will lift me up. Thank you so much. Praise God for the holy hotline. Have a good night. Man, amen. Well, remember, we're here for you 24-7 because we serve a God who never slumbers nor sleeps. Call unto him and he will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. That's Jeremiah 33 and 3. Trust God 
all the more in 2024. Hallelujah. Every time. Thank you. So we hope you got those scriptures yeah. down. Thank you, Lord, because we have to use the word of God because it's Amen. not going to fail, huh? I said, yeah. he said heaven and earth are going to pass away before his word fail. And so you can depend upon the word. He said, when it goes out of my mouth, it's not coming back void or empty, but it's going to accomplish. It's going to work. It's going to dig into that situation. Hallelujah. Amen. It's powerful. It's quick, sharper than any two-edged sword, huh? Piercing asunder, even between the bones and the marrow. It even goes yeah. between the intent and yeah. the thoughts of the heart, huh? Because mm -hmm. everything that shine is not gold. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But the word of God is a discerner. So thank you once again. Everybody did beautiful. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> we got some actors in the house. Bravo, bravo. We need some Emmys and some Oscars. <laughs> hallelujah. And you're going to be hearing more from them. I think they have a play coming up uh, for Resurrection Sunday there at Peace. And we have a play coming up for Black History Month. What if there was no Black people? I mean, what is if there was no black people? You don't want to miss this play, amen, coming up. But we have a few more uh, scriptures, so get uh, your paper and write these down. And thanks again to our drama team. Anybody on the line, you don't have to speak up, but just raise your hand. I know somebody, maybe you have problems with insomnia. Sometimes you can't get to sleep or you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't get back to sleep. Well, we have some scriptures to share with you. And these are proven. These are proven because my own husband, Brother Prince, was having so, so much trouble and taking the, uh, what do you call that thing with the M? Uh, melatonin and yeah melatonin and, and this that and the other and, and and trying to get to sleep and you know first lady alice ross sister daisy porter sister she gave him five scriptures and she said brother prince read these scriptures every night and i mean for about i don't know it's been about four or five years he said about three years. He sits right there on the side of that bed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. And he read those scriptures faithfully like he's taking medication yes. every night. And so I'm going to give you these five scriptures. So write them down and you can do the same thing because they work for him. They work for him. The first one is Psalms 3 verse number 5. It says, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. Yeah. So I'm going to lie down and I'm yeah. going to sleep. I ain't going to be laying there thinking and looking and, and, and stuff racing through my mind. No, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to wake up again yeah. because yeah. the Lord sustains me. Mm -hmm. And verse number six there says, I will not fear though ten, tens of thousands mm -hmm. assail me. On every side. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You think you got some people going against you? He said it can be tens of thousands. Yeah. I'm not going to fear. Okay, the next one is Psalms 4, verse number 8. Psalms 4, verse number 8. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. Yeah. Huh? I ain't just lying down. I'm lying down to go to sleep. Yeah, For you alone, <laughs> O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Yes, Lord. You got it. Huh? Because yes, the devil have you all worried. What if and what about? Huh? Uh -huh. And it ain't changing nothing. It's just giving you weary. Mm -hmm. Psalms 127 and 2. Psalms 127 and 2. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. Yes. For he grants sleep mm -hmm. to those he loves. Huh? Uh -huh. So all the word and the fussing and trying to accumulate and trying to gain, he said, he's the one that's got to grant you some sleep. Huh? He yes, said, sir. sometimes he said, Lord, please let me go to sleep. Well, he says, for he grants sleep to those he loves. And you know he loves you. Proverbs 3.24. Proverbs 3.24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. 
And the next verse says, for no fear of sudden disaster. Hmm? No fear about what's, what they're going to say on the 19th, on the 20th, on the 31st. No fear of what the doctor going to say. No fear. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. But the main part is you will lie down. You will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. And then the last one is Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31, verse 25 and 26. I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. At this, I awake and looked around. My sleep had been pleasant to me. So I done woke up and all of a sudden, oh, I done slept all the way to eight o'clock. I done slept all the way to 10 o'clock. Huh? Just wake up and find, oh, that was some good sleep. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you got all those down. If you didn't, amen, let me know, and I'll try to send them to you. And then here's just a few more I'm going to share. Anybody scared? Well, the one we just read is a good one if you're scared. But here's another. If you're scared or worried about anything, Joshua 1, verses 1 through 9. Joshua 1, verses 1 through 9, if you're scared. If there's danger, danger, read Psalms 91. If you've been overtaken in a fault and found yourself given in to a habit or something, you got into the TAP program, you tolerate it, you appreciate it, and then you participate it, huh? And you found yourself into something that you're sorry about. You don't have to stay down. Song said we fall down, but hey, we get up. So read Psalms 51. Like David, come out with your hands up. Then are you losing hope? You're trying to hang on to hope, but you just keep losing a hold of hope. Read Psalms 139. Part of that is what we talked about tonight, how fearfully and wonderfully you're made and how the Lord is surrounding you. He's in front of you. He's behind you. Even when you lay down, he's there. Do you feel betrayed? Betrayed by the folks that ought to be on your back and got your back, but they own your back. <laughs> uh, betrayed, Psalms 27. Read Psalms 27. Because that talks about even if my mom and my father forsake me, the Lord, he's going to lift me up. He's staying with me. And then if you feel, I mean, uh, broke, broke, read Psalms 37 if you're broke. And then if you're facing negativity, negative, read Colossians 3, verses 12 to 17. Negative. Okay, so we thank the Lord for all those scriptures. And those Amen. came to us by way of Brother Joe Barnett, his daughter, after hearing the dramatization, sent him uh, more scriptures. And so that's where we got those from. So thank you, Brother Joe Barnett.